some breaking news coming in. Rahul Gandhi's UK visit is under lens. A war ha of words has broken out over the political clearance. The Congress party has said that there is no clearance that is required for an MP. But uh, the government document shows that a nod is must from the government. Sources indicating that Rahul Gandhi skipped the procedure. So this is likely to snowball into a massive controversy. Rahul Gandhi is in the United Kingdom and now questions being raised on whether clearances were taken as per protocol or not. Shereen is joining us with more details on this. Uh, Shereen, this is a visit of Rahul Gandhi that has been mired in a lot of controversy already for the statements that he has made there. But now we have a war of words continuing over political clearance. Has there been a clearance that has been taken as per protocol or not? That seems to be the controversy. Well, according to what the BJP sources have been suggesting is that, uh, in fact, uh, the clearance have, in fact, been taken by the other people who were part of this uh, uh, particular uh, delegation who were invited to speak at Cambridge University. That includes Mohito Mohitro and Manoj Jha. Manoj Jha, in fact, has taken the Mahua uh, Mohitro, I beg your pardon, and Manoj Jha. They had, in fact, taken the permission is what the sources have been suggesting. But uh, when it comes to Rahul Gandhi, there has been no clearance taken is what uh, the uh, sources have been suggesting. While this was picked up, this story was picked up uh, and uh, uh, the Congress party has also hit back uh, at the BJP government saying that uh, for a Lok Sabha MP, he doesn't really need to take uh, any sort of permission when it comes to a non-government uh, uh, visit. Uh, because this was a non-governmental visit where Rahul Gandhi was part of uh, uh, this public speaking at Cambridge University, there was no okay. need for him and to fact, take Sharon, any the such reason why there there is a controversy is because Rahul Gandhi enjoys Z plus security. So the protocol suggests that he should take clearances. Shahzad Punawal of the BJP is with us. I am saying now controversy breaking out whether the protocol was followed or not. Well, as per the documents that Times Now is putting out, you seem to also suggest that even if somebody like Rahul Gandhi, an MP, is on a non-official visit, uh, even in that scenario, if the invitation has been extended by a foreign organization, there is a set rule and protocol about informing and taking clearance from the requisite departments of government. This is how the rules are in this country. But unfortunately, when the agenda is Bharat Todo, then the agenda is also Bharat Ke Rules Todo. And therefore, Rahul Gandhi, who was on a trip of Bharat Todo, because the manner of statements he was making, undermining India, undermining India's institutions, trying to propel China's propaganda and time and again questioning India's armed forces on foreign land. So the agenda was Bharat Todo and therefore clearly even Bharat ke rules Todo seems to be the order of the day for Rahul Gandhi and therefore perhaps uh, he was not cognizant or deliberately did not inform and follow the procedure and the rules that have been laid down in this country from a very long period of time. Absolutely. Uh, a similar controversy had also uh, broken out about his visits abroad, but the Congress party has said that a nod is not needed. Uh, this document clearly shows that uh, for the Congress MP, a nod would be needed, a clearance would be needed because of the security protocol that needs to be followed. The Congress party has responded by saying that no such clearance is required for a personal visit. Well, you know, the Congress party feels that it owns this country and therefore they feel no rules apply to them. So that's another matter. But having said that, Manoj Jha, I believe, according to news reports put out by you and other organizations, did take this clearance. So is Manoj Jha uninformed or is Manoj Jha following a protocol that is separate for his party and there is no protocol required for Congress party? You know, Congress has this habit that Hamare Baap ka desh hai. Ham koi kanun nahi mante. So this mindset ki Hamare Baap ka desh hai, ham koi kanun nahi mante is perhaps being reflected by that. Right. Very lastly, this is a needless controversy that could have been avoided. This also comes at a time when Rahul Gandhi's UK visit is already mired in a lot of controversy and a lot of criticism for undermining India and uh, you know immediately after that this information also coming in. No, this is not a needless controversy. This is a deliberate ploy and conspiracy by Rahul Gandhi to not inform because his agenda was clearly Bharat Todo and therefore why would he inform or take the requisite permissions when his agenda was Bharat Todo? So perhaps 
this was the real reason why he has not followed the said protocol and rules. I think the agenda of his uh, meetings shows why he has skipped following the rules and procedures followed uh, by other MPs in his delegation. Okay. All right. Shaza, thank you for joining us with that. So the BJP saying this is a controversy, but this is something that was done deliberately. Rahul Gandhi not taking permission because of the agenda that he had in the United Kingdom. Sharin, big charge by the BJP. So clearly the Congress party is defending this move. And I said that there was no need for a clearance required at all. But the document obtained clearly says that it was required. And the others who were with Rahul Gandhi had taken the requisite permission. It was only Rahul Gandhi who decided to skip it. Absolutely. If you see the document that has been accessed by Times Now, uh, which is in fact a document by the Lok Sabha Secretary's uh, Secretary, it clearly mentioned four points that how it is very much needed for them to uh, dully, uh, you know, go through the process and submit the letters, what organization, under what organization, what talk are they going to attend, what sort of an event are they going to attend. All these points have been in fact mentioned there. Congress on the other hand has been saying as a Lok Sabha member of parliament, because he is not going on a non-governmental visit, it. He can actually, uh, he doesn't have to take any sort of permission, where on the other hand, the other MPs who are part of this event uh, has in fact uh, pro uh, followed the dull pro uh, dully process that is in fact on uh, in place. Uh, on the other hand, there are in fact Congress party saying this is once again a distraction that is being created by the BJP at this point uh, to distract from the real issues on ground because we have seen the kind of uh, statements that the controversial statements also that was made by Rahul Gandhi in this foreign visit and now, uh, now that the visit has in fact come to an end once again the BJP is trying to create controversy by saying that he has not taken permission. Uh, of course uh, we will be in fact be speaking to uh, the other Lok Sabha MPs who were part of this uh, particular delegation. Apart from that, uh, today at about 11 a.m. is when the Congress party is also doing a press conference. This question will also be asked to them, but they have in fact been maintaining that there is no need for Rahul Gandhi to take any sort of permission uh, because this was not a non uh, because this was a non-government issue uh, uh, visit and this was nothing related, official related to the government and hence he has not taken any sort of such permission. Right, but that does not explain why the other leaders knew that permission was required. This is a protocol to be followed. They have taken all the requisite permissions. It was only Rahul Gandhi who decided to skip it. Very surprising, Sharon, that the Congress party is saying that it is not required at all, uh, instead of perhaps giving a clarification on what exactly happened. Previously as well, Rahul Gandhi's visits abroad have garnered some controversy because of the security detail that uh, he enjoys. There is a protocol to be followed which has been cleared by the Union Home Ministry even previously. So now if the protocol was not followed, this is going to be a massive controversy not just because of the political con connotations of it but also because of the security fallout that it could have had. Absolutely, Pratibha. And if you see the document that has been accessed by Times now, it clearly mentions the non-government visits. Uh, so the, uh, the, the point that has been raised by the Congress party is that because this was a non-government visit, he doesn't have to take a permission. But it is clearly mentions that these are the points that comes when a Lok Sabha MP goes to a non-government visit. These are the process, these are the protocol that needs to be followed. So the, uh, the, the explanation that is in fact or the defense that is coming okay. from the Congress party doesn't all right. Uh, very surprising that the Congress party has decided to defend not giving any clarification on what exactly happened. Sharin, thank you for joining us with those details. We'll continue coming back to you as and when there are any updates on that. Moving on to another big